Hello everyone, it's me once again. I hope you don't mind the fan noise. It's quite uh, hot here. Uh, today's hot weather, sunny day. Anyway, so I was thinking of getting a new watch and Kickstarter would be a fantastic place because I can't afford one of those luxury watch. Maybe if you make me very famous, I might actually head into that direction. But um, for the time being, I thought, well, what is good price? that anyone can afford it and also fantastic uh, design as well. And I can see from Kickstarter that this Backfire automatic watch is very popular. It's, it reached the goal uh, beyond the goal, 1000% of the goal. So uh, it's one of those most popular demanding watch that I can see. So looking at it, it's, um, it immediately it reminds me of that Jacob and Co kind of look obviously not as expensive as that but it has the sapphire glass sapphire crystal glass in the front and the back as well so it's a skeleton design it's one of those things that fits my criteria of design that i'm after and uh, you can see it actually comes from this this is the tag hoyer Cali um, carrera caliber 1887 uh, it has a very simple rather simple sort of chronograph uh, facing in the front but on the back it's just lovely I, I immediately, when I saw the back, I just fell in love with it, with all the details of the components and so on. Now, this one is actually, let's just go down to the main description about this product, which is that a case size of 47 mil. Okay, so this is 43, which is perfect for my wrist size, and this is 45. Immediately, I can see a difference here, but this one is 47. So it's gonna be bulkier than this one. So if you, are, if you actually have a small wrist, then I wouldn't, recommend it but then again some people like that bulkiness it has a um, 5 atm which is very good as i said sapphire crystal glass front and the back and i'm not sure whether it's only the front or the back but it does say glass so it's, i'm sure it must be both side and the um, movement is myota a215 automatic so i looked it up on myota automatic um, a215 and surely it seems to be having more than 37 pieces or not. I'm not sure, but I, I'm not an expert, but I'm just trying to understand more and more about this product. Obviously there is a short video clip. Uh, in the end, there's a few seconds, show, someone showing the actual watch where the wheel actually spins, reminds me of that um, automobile kind of mechanism. And that's gorgeous. It's just really nice looking. So that's why I can see that they're, they're trying to imitate the engine uh, mechanism onto this watch. And I'm sure this guy, whoever design is, is a great fan of motors and so on. Maybe he comes from this background. Now this is, so with, this is why we can call this the automobile transmission system watch and um, there are few things that really puts you off I have to be very strict on this and I'm sorry if I sound very mean but the first paragraph of the description which was with nice image and so on um, few things I do this is what I do to my students as well but when you say racing car you should actually put a smaller R, R case and also time pieces full stop and then current the word there's like three or four uh, skip of um, space I don't know why that happened there and also the world's first design on the second last um, verse um, sentence sorry it's um, on capital W so there are some few things of spelling things that I want to point things out not only that on but also on the risk and challenge this is a very good English but I don't understand why someone would put comma instead of putting a full sentence so this suddenly becomes the longest um, sentence it says we have already found a worker with a very reputable um, fa watch factory comma the communication with factory has been smooth and fast and ensure that every watch ensures the standard of the delivery time comma we will be maintaining our constant contact with the factory so it should be a full stop but I, I, I'm sure you get the idea but th not only that but lastly if you actually look at the staff or the name of the staff um, or the team members it's also puzzling as well i mean the member list it says director and watch designer is sanwa.c photo shooting is from anna who's anna um, and also quality control product managers ken so anyone could be ken anyone could be anna so 
I think there will be more credits for someone like myself who are really interested to buy this watch. If you want to convince guys like me, I would rather respect you if you actually put the full name. You know, that would be quite nice. Um, and also, um, I'm not really put off at all with the English, but it's just for me, guy like me in my environment, the way how I work, I wish the English would be more well uh, drafted or che checked with someone um, and it's also only minor but again that doesn't really put off but if you want this watch which is very demanding popular watch from Hong Kong is only 352 US dollars and um, I, th I would say for that price you pay compared to what I have here um, it's a very good price um, 352 US dollars is what about 280 I think or maybe more maybe less uh, British pounds so I could easily afford it and I'm sure many of you can afford it as well so just want to give you a heads up on this brilliant um, watch called um, Backfire Automatic Watches um, obviously it's from Hong Kong so I wouldn't you know expect perfect English so I'm, I'm sorry if I sound very mean on that but very appealing watch um, 45 again sorry 47 this is 43 this is 45, both Tag Heuer. So 47 will be bulkier than this. So, um, well, we'll see. Anyway, so just want to give you a heads up. What do you guys think? Um, should you get one? Should I get one? Let me know your thoughts on this. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech and I'll speak to you soon. All the best. Bye-bye.